originally became interested in physics because of an underlying desire to know how nature puts things together. I've been working in the area of nanotechnology for around eight years now, and in the past three years I've been focusing my work on looking at environmental stability and toxicology. Nanoscale is uh, around one billionth of a metre in diameter, roughly to ten billionths of a metre in diameter. Scientists all around the world are currently producing a variety of different nanoparticles that do not exist in nature, and therefore we're unable to predict the long-term effects of how these nanoparticles will interact with nature and biological organisms such as ourselves. We have a wonderful opportunity here to learn from history and not make the mistakes with nanotechnology that may have been made by other areas of science technology in the past, such as asbestos and DDT. So one example would be gold, and the molecular scale gold is quite poisonous. At the macro scale, at the scale of jewellery, it's benign. But in the middle, gold is a very efficient oxidation catalyst, and it also has applications in medical diagnostics. The work that I do specifically is building theoretical models to try to predict the type of chemical environment which will make nanoparticles more safe. Long term, I hope to build the kind of predictive models that will be used all around the world for people to test the stability of their nanoparticles under a variety of environmental conditions. The L'Oreal Fellowship will help me build that capability, which I hope to disseminate all over the world.